go. My name is Rowan Taliesin Appleton Wickens, and I am 11 years old. I am telling the tale of the poor king. There was a king, a poor king. He lived in a very small tower that had a small garden. In the garden there was a rose tree which had one flower. And at the other end of the garden there was a nightingale which sang the sweetest of songs. This king, he was so poor because his father had gambled away the rest of the kingdom at a gambling shop. This, this king had fallen in love with a rich princess, a snooty princess, a spoilt princess, who was always asking her dad, Daddy, can I have this? If you don't get me it, I'll scream. You know the type. Anyway, this this poor king was actually in love with the spoiled brat, and he sent his rose tree and his nightingale to the, the princess. The princess unwraps the rose tree and snipped the rose. The foot, one of the thorns of the rose, caught pricked her on the nose and said, Ow, that really hurt! And she sent it away. Then she unwrapped the nightingale and took it out. She said, What a clever toy! Then she realised it was a real bird. So she sent it away. The poor king was wondering what to do since his presents hadn't worked worked. He, he had an idea. He got on his mule and rode to the princess's kingdom. When he got there, he knocked on the door of the castle and asked if there was any work for him. And the king said, yes, I've got some work for you. You can be the royal swineherd. So, the poor king became the, the royal swineherd, looking after the pigs. After a while, he got slightly bored of them. He got slightly bored, so he started to make a saucepan, hammering, and he was making it out of a piece of scrap metal that he had found. The, the, in the evening, it was starting to look like a saucepan. By the morning, he had attached silver bells to it, and it, and the saucepan had magic powers. If you stuck your finger in the steam, you could smell what was cooking all over the land. The princess heard about this saucepan and wanted it for herself. So, she went down to the swineherd's hut and asked the price of the saucepan. The swineherd said, Ten kisses from the from the princess and no less. The princess said, I'm not going to kiss a dirty swineherd like you. And she walked away. But the princess really wanted that saucepan. So, so she she went back to the swineherd and said, OK, I will give you the ten kisses, but our, my maid will, gav will make sure no one will see us. So the maids gather gathered round the, the swineherd and the princess, and the, swi and the princess gave the swineherd ten kisses. The swineherd, in return, gave her the saucepan. The princess was delighted with the saucepan and and was and played with it all day. The next day, the swineherd started make, making a magic rattle. 
By the afternoon, he had, the, he had made the rattle. The rattle special power was that when you shook it, you could it would play whatever tune you wanted to hear. The the uh, princess heard about this and went to the went to the swineherd's hut and asked the price. The swineherd said, "A hundred kisses from the princess and no less." The princess said, "I'll give you ten kisses, and you can take the rest for my maids." And, so, and, and the maid said, "We're not going to kiss a dirty swineherd." So the princess said, "Oh dear," and so she gave the swineherd, started giving the swineherd a hundred kisses while the maids were gathered round. The king, the princess's father, was looking out from his balcony during the during all this, and looked down and saw in his garden that there was a big crowd around the swineherd's hut and so he rushed down to see what was going on and he saw that his daughter was kissing the royal swineherd and he said to his daughter what do you think you're doing and he said you leave this kingdom and never come back and the, do and the princess was crying and crying and crying and, and she said I wish I'd married that poor king now and the swineherd took off his rags and said I am the poor king I, let, let's go back to my kingdom and the princess um, smiled whether they, they, were, they had a happy ever after or not I cannot say